I'm Colin Beard and uh, played most of my junior football or football out at Armidale. I was actually born in Melbourne. Um, it was in the war years. Dad volunteered early in the war and Mum followed him across. Frank Harrison uh, recruited me from Armidale to come here and play. Uh, I was 17 years of age. Um, probably the, the thing you remember about football is your first league game and uh, I was lucky enough at 17 years of age to uh, kick four goals four, changing the ruck with Jack Sumich and Jeff Critch Christian, the noted journalist, gave me best player on the ground in my first game. So I was pretty wrapped in that. So I got off to a flying start, then I kicked three the following week. But uh, there's one little story to this. Uh, it wasn't actually my first game, it was the second game because in the first game I played, I'd played four games in the reserves under uh, Bernie Naylor, the great goal kicker for our club, as, who was the coach, dragged me off the ground at three quarter time, said get in the shower, and next thing the trainers were rubbing me down, because Tony Paradich had been injured, uh, or not injured, or ill or something, and he, he pulled out of the leg side at the last minute. So I had to have a shower, have a rub down, and just sat on the bench for the, uh, the game and of course got ribbed a lot because I never went on the ground at any stage and uh, got paid three quid for playing the game. So uh, that was my first game of uh, football at South Fremantle. I played uh, a total of 163 games at South uh, and then I was recruited to get a go across to Richmond. Uh, I was mature age uh, player. I think at that stage I was 27 when I played my first game. So what was a pretty sad 18 months uh, worked out to be a great uh, last 10 games with uh, nine wins and, uh, and a premiership under my belt. I came back and played a few games here, yeah, and um, then in 1974, uh, I was appointed coach of South Fremantle. Um, uh, we had a pretty young sort of a side, and I brought a, a Richmond style of play, I call it. I think I, I brought a, a different game to Western Australia. It was a, a, a hard play on game, uh, run on, play on at every opportunity, and a lot of hard running. And it was exciting to watch, and I think our South supporters were pretty wrapped in the, in the uh, display that we had with such a, well, an inexper inexperienced side. And uh, we were just unlucky to, not to make the four that year. We got beaten by West Perth, the bottom side, when uh, Dempsey and Winneran played, both played their 300 games on the same day, and we just missed out on the four. 75. Uh, we got to the grand final and got done by West Perth and we were decimated with a, a lot of really good players that were injured. Uh, next year we got to second position and we got knocked out in both the finals so it was a little bit disappointing to finish that way. I said to the committee, uh, if you can find someone better I'm happy to stand down. I'm probably, in hindsight, I'm disappointed now that I didn't go on with it. Probably uh, to win the A.W. Walker medal, the fairest and best player. Um, I think in 1966, uh, another couple of years around either side of that, I think I was second or third or something like that. And I think to play, what a player likes to do is to play consistent football. And I think I owe a lot of this to the great John Todd. John was my first coach when I first came down at 17 years of age. He was only 21, a bit young to be uh, coaching senior players like Cliff Hillier and, and Donnie Byfield and players like that. But um, John, when he came back to the club to coach around about 66 or 65, something like that, uh, he thought, well, <coughs> I didn't really have the stamina to be a ruckman that I was. Um, 
and he changed my position to full back um, because I was a fairly quick sort of player for size and uh, I was able to compete hard, come back, have a spell, compete hard and uh, that made me more of a consistent player rather than run all day and, and uh, lose energy and not have a, the energy once the, uh, the, the ball got in the area. So uh, I have a big thank you to John Todd. Oh, fellow players, um, well, there's probably no greater player than, than John Todd as far as ability goes. You know, he was just so unlucky to do his knee that he did. Uh, if it was in this era, they would have patched it up and he would have been a tremendous player for a long time. But ability-wise, there was no one better than John. Uh, Johnny Jerovich was sensational. Uh, a great mark, you know, like um, he, he could just judge marks and uh, really a sensational player. He kicked 100 goals on several occasions, but the time I remember uh, that particularly stands out in three different uh, weeks, consecutive weeks, he played at centre-half forward, he kicked 10, 11 and 12 goals from centre-half forward, and uh, that is just unheard of, and that just shows the ability uh, of someone like John Jerovich. Uh, others to stand out, of course, were, well, I was the first coach uh, of Morris Rioli and Stephen Michael when they first came down, and they showed tremendous ability, and uh, I was just so proud of them when they went on to be the, really, the superstars that they finished up being. Um, plenty of other good players around that time, and I think, really, we underachieved uh, for the players that we had. Like, there was veterans, uh, of my era in uh, Cliff Hillier, Donny Byfield, Johnny Colgan, Barry White, um, Pat, uh, uh, Daly, uh, Pat Daly, uh, all very good players. Uh, and then in the younger bracket, there was uh, players like Gary and Graham Scott, uh, there was Jack Sumich, Tommy Grulisich, um and a heap of others, the Bow brothers and so on. And I think, in hindsight, when you look back, uh, we should have had more, or whether it was premierships, but more success uh, than what we had with the talent that was available. Well, I think get back to, to South Fremantle and, and uh, to the younger players, to just to put a big effort in, into uh, working hard. You know, there's no easy way out. You know, like. John Todd was probably one of the best kicks I've ever seen and, and I can remember talking to John when I was a youngster, you know, 17 years of age. How come you're a good kick, John? He said, I used to, we had picket fences in those days. He said, I'd have a big circle on the fence, I'd get back 10 metres and I'd bang away until I get it 10 times straight. He said, then I'd you move back 15 and go bang again until he could uh, do it again. So uh, he, he was a, a champion player, not because he was born a champion, he developed himself to be that champion and uh, I think anyone uh, with any sort of ability, if they make up their mind, they can do it and uh, the rewards are there, particularly if you get to the AFL standard. For a start, you don't have to all the hassle of the, of the crowds, but uh, I think you can get a lot of enjoyment, you know, like uh, particularly when your side's winning, uh, but to encourage and, and to see the young fellas running around. I think it's good to see youth and, uh, and uh, see them develop and then perhaps follow their career as they get onto the, uh, onto the AFL standards at a later time. And, and of course, it's less expensive. It's far too expensive to, to go to an AFL game for the average family person, I think. And uh, and uh, it'd be great to welcome them all back here at Fremantle.